I quit. I quit. What compels us to give up? To say the words, I quit, even when we have a desire to succeed. As I said those words, I quit, it was because I felt that I was not a good teacher. I wanted to quit because I wondered, do I even deserve to be called a teacher? A teacher, a word so close to my heart because I owe every success of mine to the incredible teachers in my life. So why was I doubting myself? After being a music teacher for a year and witnessing the smiles and hugs of my students who love me, one of my students, a short curly haired young boy, looked me straight in the eye and he said, I quit. I don't wanna learn music anymore. Time signatures and counting all the beats, it's too hard. I was standing there, devastated, holding back the tears as he loudly repeated, I quit. Why? Was it my fault? I don't know. But sooner or later, I realized that I had a major role to play here. I could have stopped him from quitting. I could have made him feel the music, not just play the music, but feel the music. Because I have discovered that there are three magical lessons. As an international best-selling author and music teacher's educator, I realized that these lessons have helped me to never say I quit and to never settle for less than what I can become. Who taught me that first magical lesson? It was another student. If I close my eyes, I can still see that little girl walking up to me in her pretty purple dress and saying, Miss Glory St. Germain, if you could teach me the next level of music, I will be happy to learn from you more than any other teacher. It was a blissful moment in time as I saw her trust in me as a teacher. But at that moment, I was not qualified or equipped to teach her at the next level. But this time, there would be no more missed opportunities. It was time for me to take action. And then the magic happened. That moment in time when I made a life-changing decision. A decision to elevate my knowledge, my skill set, and finally achieve my music teacher's diploma. It's really hard to learn new things. It takes courage to learn new things. And it takes time to learn new things. A lot of time. But each time I said I quit because the lessons were difficult or I was unable to manage my time with all that I was supposed to do, my experience with my two students, the curly haired boy and the girl in the pretty purple dress, were my anchors. And the result was a better me, a better teacher, and a better time manager. The moment that I made the decision to wake up, to show up, and to never stop learning is the moment that I had certainty. Certainty that I had time to achieve my goals. I will give you an anchor to help you master the essence of learning and remind you of the first magical lesson. A clock. A clock to remind you that you have time to learn and do everything you want to do in life. To take control of your destiny with certainty. Achieving goals comes from the certainty of your decision to clock in your learning time. Just as the certainty of each moment in time will pass you by. My desire to make students fall in love with learning music compelled me to search for the next magical lesson. And I found it within the student in me. My first teacher, my father, taught me that learning music would be part of my life forever. 
To him, it was like breathing. One element of music he considered most important was rhythm. Dad would say, doesn't matter if you play a wrong note now and then, <laughs> but always stay in time. Since we couldn't afford a metronome, Dad would tap his yellow pencil on the piano while I practiced every day. I can still feel the dent in the wood on the piano. I miss that dent. My father taught me the lesson of practicing music the right way. I remember a gift my father gave me, a Rubik's Cube. It taught me a very important lesson, and that is the lesson of practice. But not just ordinary practice, but practice with a system. If I ask you to solve a Rubik's Cube, you might try for a few minutes and eventually say, I quit. But if I ask you to practice solving a Rubik's Cube and I give you a system to solve it and then ask you to practice this system, you will achieve success faster than just trying to figure it out on your own. I will give you an anchor, a powerful tool to remind you of the second magical lesson. A Rubik's Cube. A Rubik's Cube requires a practice system to achieve a successful outcome with certainty. Many students fail to practice because teachers fail to give them a step-by-step -step system to practice with. And that's why students say, I quit. Problem solving success comes from implementing an effective practice system in teaching the fundamental lessons of mastery. If I had given the curly haired boy a practice system, perhaps he would not have said, I quit. But fortunately, as I had learned the second magical lesson, I did teach the girl in the pretty purple dress the Rubik's Cube practice system. And the result? She easily and proudly solved the practice system and elevated it to the next level of music education. But there was still one massive element missing. And I learned that in the final lesson. This was the most difficult lesson to learn. And that is the lesson of effective communication and relationship building. If I reflect on teaching the curly haired boy who said, I quit, I realized it was because I had only looked at the tip of the iceberg. I didn't understand the need to look below the surface to the relationship that I had with his parents. I had failed to go deeper, to discover the real reason he quit so easily. I was determined to understand the triad of relationships between teacher, student, and parent. A triad in music is the relationship between three notes that can create beautiful harmony or dissonance with tension, just as in personal triad relationships. I will give you an anchor to remind you of the enormous source of strength and insight in the third magical lesson, an iceberg. An iceberg represents the complexity of relationships. Being open to looking below the surface of simple conversation to the complexity of true connection. As I reflect on my iceberg and look back at my two students, I realize there are two very different triad relationships. With the curly haired boy, I had only looked at the tip of the iceberg when building the relationship with him and his parents. The result was dissonance with tension. With the girl in the pretty purple dress, I had looked deeper below the surface. I had learned how to listen to understand the relationship between teacher, student, and parent, not just listen to reply. 
The result was beautiful harmony. You may wonder, what happened to my two anchor students? Oh, how I wish I could time travel. I wish I could go back to the curly haired boy and have one more chance to teach him or give him his money back. But thankfully, the girl in the pretty purple dress not only achieved greatness as a music student, but she went on to win awards as a musician and became a successful music teacher running her own music studio. I am so grateful to have learned these three magical lessons. My clock symbolizes a dedicated time to learn. Now is the time to learn and become all that you can be. What do you want to take the time to learn today? My Rubik's Cube symbolizes a practice system. Now is the time to implement a strategic practice system. What do you want to learn today and implement your strategic practice system? My iceberg symbolizes more than superficial talks that end in unresolved tension, but communication at a deeper level. Now is the time to commit to deepening the quality of your relationships. What relationships do you want to be deeper today? When you feel like you want to say the words, I quit because your knowledge, your performance, or your relationships are failing, think about the three magical lessons. Which one will you apply first? Teach with passion. Thank you.